Good morning, everyone. I've been asked today to give you a bit of an introduction to Robert's Rules of Order. Uh, we have here a copy of the new 12th edition. And since I was one of the first people to order this book before the 2020 annual training conference, I got this book with a card inscribed with the signatures of the authors of the book. And that was a bit of a treat because I actually like to collect books. I love lifelong learning and I love old books. And I've had the pleasure over the years to pick up a few interesting ones. For example, here's a 75th anniversary edition of the revised Robert's Rules of Order, published in 1951, and this is a second printing, first edition of Robert's Rules of Order from 1884. I have not been able to get a first edition, first printing, and I have a feeling that someday when I track one down, I probably won't be able to afford it. But uh, I want to also share with you, before we get started, uh, what are probably my two prized books in my small collection. Uh, this book, Hunters of the Great North by Wilhelmer Stephenson, is considered a, a real classic in ethnography of the Inuit people. I used to spend a lot of time ice climbing, mountaineering, and snowshoe camping in winter in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And so to read this book was absolutely fascinating. But what makes this particular one special, it was published in 1922, so it's almost 100 years old. And it was signed by the author in March of 1950 as a gift to a friend and colleague. And here, my other uh, lovely little gem uh, is a book entitled C. Cornelius Tacitus X. I. Lipsy. Uh, this book was published in 1634. It is the oldest book in my collection. Uh, and really interesting on in the inside cover. It belonged to a gentleman named Philip Cooper. I assume he was a gentleman. He might not have been. But he had this book, uh, probably got this book, in August of 1821. Uh, so it was published in the 1600s. It was owned by a Philip Cooper in the early 1800s. Uh, and now it has come into my possession. It's an absolutely beautiful book. Uh, unfortunately, I will never be able to actually read any of it because it's in Latin, and I do not know how to read Latin. So with that, let's turn our attention to Robert's Rules of Order, except that this is all I'm going to do for this video assignment. <laughs> 